maybe just executing all on all cylinders like we're capable of and that we do from time to time, but then putting it all together, it was great to see. Um, unbelievable atmosphere tonight. I feel just so blessed to be in this position, really just trying to soak it all in. Like, I only have so many of these left, you know? It's been a long time since you guys played a night game. Yeah, the best. Like, literally the best. Like, no place cares about football as much as Nebraska. Um, that's why I'm here. That's why, like, I was drawn here. So it is, it, it's great to see it all in full force. You know, that that uh, the light show going into the fourth quarter was different. Um, unbelievable atmosphere. Bring it next week. you like that you were more of a pass rusher tonight? They give you a chance to run for the pass? Yeah. For sure, I like coverage, but also like unabated to the quarterback. Like, I ain't gonna complain about that. I gotta get the ball out next time. You know, this was the first time that Nebraska blew out Northwestern since being in the Big Ten. What is what is that? What did that mean after all the games being one score games? Yeah, we uh, like I said, we executed on all cylinders, and then like going into halftime. I think that was like a test in and of itself, like how are we gonna respond? Are we gonna feel good about ourselves? You know, pump the brakes? Um, or are we gonna, you know, have a better half than the first half? And so we challenged ourselves at halftime and uh, the guys responded unbelievable. All the depth um, from top to bottom was great today. Uh, we gotta carry it over onto the practice field. We gotta keep this momentum, momentum going. Uh, we got a big week this week. Yeah, it's what you. It's literally what you live for. Like, you can't draw it up any better. So, uh, they got a piece of us last time. I wasn't there. I was injured, but I watched the game. Still have a sour taste in our mouth. So, um, we're playing for respect. We're playing to represent Nebraska. Uh, we're playing to win. Yeah. I was saying in the locker room, like, we're going to recover better. Like, your body recovers better after a win. Like, just emotionally, you're in a lot better place. And it, it's, it, it feels good to, to reap the reward of all the work we put in, you know. Um, this one feels good, but, you know, next week's going to feel better. When did you know Ian could be a factor? I mean, there was sort of buzz about him in the spring, and I think people were curious if he had a really factor in. Because what was it in the defender's perspective on him? Yeah, you don't really want. Yeah, you don't want him running angry, <laughs> not even in practice. Like, talented dude, physical, hard to bring down. Um, and on his long run, like he does that in practice. Like he finishes runs in practice, um, even if it's in shells. Um, or just like, look at this dude running. But today, I get showed. Um, so hat off to him for stepping up today. Um, hat off to everybody for stepping up and. Like I said, like, like we're on to the next one. This feels great. Don't get me wrong, but we're one and zero right now in our eyes. Uh, looking to get two and zero. Talk about Pristov today. That one punt, 84 yards, that tied the longest punt uh, here at Memorial Stadium. Uh, after last week, kind of talk about how that you know, makes you feel, the team feel, and you know he feel. Yeah, I mean, that's a great moment to bounce back from adversity like that and to to answer the bell like that and. You know, he he didn't make the ball roll. Something did though, and you know I attribute that to his attitude and his preparation all week and how he responded. Um, I mean, all of our special teamers have responded this week. Um, proud of them for that, and we gotta we gotta continue to dig in. Um, we got more work to do. Seeing the offensive productivity in the first quarter, it really inspired the fans. How did that get you guys all so fired up? Yeah, it was. Awesome. It was awesome. It felt good. Um, seeing them execute, it, it, you know, we're like, we didn't, we didn't feel like we had our backs up against the wall, but we're like, we're gonna go execute. Like, we're not, about, we're not about to like, you know, kill this momentum in the stadium right now. So it, it was a different feeling, and it was, it was kind of a new feeling, and it felt great. Can you sort of describe what you saw on that, that fourth down play, 
first fumble play in the second quarter? On the goal line? Yes. Um, they were going to run it in. They are going to try to run it in or do a move, dinky pass. Um, it's just about who's playing harder down there. And I got a lasso call from Reimer. Basically just says, go make a play. Um, I got the quarterback. And uh, that's what happened. I think DT broke through the line too. So, I mean, if I wasn't there, he was going to make the play. So that's just, I mean, we're just playing hard down there. I love how our defense is playing right now. We got nasty dudes up front, linebackers that can run sideline to sideline, DBs um, that didn't have their best performance today, but like are the backbone of our defense that bring that swagger and energy every day um, and that hold it down when we need it to be done. So uh, love how we're executing as a unit right now. We got so much to improve on and we're looking to do that. Thanks guys.